and the last day of our Love & Hip Hop Hollywood Takeover Week with Keisha Cole. It'll be an awesome day, I can feel it. And on Girl Chat, Jennifer Hudson's odd compliment, throwing a shoe at someone. Plus, they got me good, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, my God! Surprise interview with superstar Idris Elba, I'll never forget. Then, which celeb is taking this week's L train? The real starts now. This is our show! Yeah. hip-hop Hollywood takeover week here at The Real, and I am so excited for our guest co-host today. She's a singer, songwriter, record producer, businesswoman, and television personality. Everyone, give it up for our girl, Keisha Cole! <laughs> Oh, we were yeah. singing. We love your music. We're such a big fan you of you here at the show. Sense. Oh, thank you. Yes, thank she you. does. We need so smell vision Coco Chanel. Damn. Okay, so how have you been? What's going on? I've been good. I'm so excited about this album coming out yes. on 1020. Oh, oh yeah. So um, and we're premiering the video here. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Oh, yep. So I'm super excited. In a little bit. Yeah, you yes. guys are gonna be able to check it out. We're so excited oh, to see that's it. Oh, so dope. Now, I'm not sure if you heard, but we don't just have Fridays here at The Real, Keisha. Mm. Uh-oh. No. Uh <laughs> Honey, oh. we have Friday! <laughs> the turn up is real. Uh, the girls the turn up oh. is real. But Friday is complete without cocktails, right? Uh, Come on, Marcel. Girls. Ginger Punch, and if you want to learn how to make this oh cocktail or make a mocktail oh. for yourself, head on over to thereal.com, mm -hmm. all right? Now, Keisha? Yes, ma'am. <sighs> now that we're having drinks. Yes, oh. cheers, girl, cheers. cheers. Give me eye contact. Cheers. 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 Happy Friday! Right Happy Friday! Keisha, yes. are you ready to spill some tea on the real? Yeah. All okay. right, let's do yeah. this, I'm okay? To do, that today. do it. Okay, oh. earlier it was reported <laughs> that Booby was going to request full custody of your son in addition to asking you for child's support. No, spousal support. Uh, yeah. Spousal support. Child's support. And that too. <laughs> I yeah. drink, she not that's that's what Oh yeah, I'm already yet. drinking. Now, Booby has since said Cute. publicly that the claims aren't true. Do you care to respond? <laughs> <laughs> Take a breath. <laughs> you know, I, I try to make agreements with people mm -hmm. and I try to keep them. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And a lot of times, people say one thing and they do another. Mm -hmm. And it's really frustrating. However, it happens. So at this point, you know, I'm here. Yeah. I'm with you guys. I'm super excited to be here. We're releasing an album, we're releasing a single, I feel you. a video, you know, and I just can't. <laughs> We just gotta focus on the great things and whatever is meant to happen is at is this the divorce point, final? Is your divorce? Hopefully really soon. <laughs> hopefully, 
not in a bad, negative way. Right. But, you know, just a way that we could just get it over with and just, we don't have to keep hearing about it. You can oh, yeah. move around and do what you want to do, what you've been doing and how you're doing and liking to do it. Now, would you oh. check, would you share um, custody with him? Yeah, of Is course. Is that what you would want? That's, that's what that's, you want. That was my initial, um, you know, uh, Asking, yeah, yeah, of what the they felt like it should have been, and I said, okay, well, that seems pretty fair to me. I yeah. mean, that's what we do naturally, right. normally. You know, one week he's with you, one week he's with me, and then he comes back with you, and then he comes back with me. So you know, and we share the same nanny, so it's not big, uh, that big of a deal. Right. And um, I thought that was the agreement. Oh. Okay. You know, and so. And that's how you'd like it to stay. Yes, Got I would it. like his lawyer to understand that as well. Got oh, it. okay, all right. Yeah. Now, yeah. Booby claimed on our show that <laughs> him and Brooke Valentine are just friends. Do you buy that? No. Ooh. <laughs> you know, the, the thing is uh, that I prefer not to be sold anything, you oh. know? Got you it. know, I'm not looking to buy it, you know? It's just like... God Do bless. you? Yeah, God like, bless, I've man. Moved on, like, have you moved? Hey, like... unless it's like involving my kid, you know, my son, and um, we should meet or we should go to lunch. Yeah. Right. Are three of us. Yeah. Wow. Well, wow. Do you, you have even a friendship open with that? Brooke? No, I mean, you know, I, to my understanding, she doesn't have one with my child. Okay. Oh. So, you know, that's the only time it's really like technically, to me, as a grown woman, it would involve me. Okay. Got it, yeah. You know what it I only mean. involves you when it involves the child. Yeah. That makes perfect sense. Okay, so I mean, yeah. very yeah. mature. Very mature. Very, I like yeah. that. Yeah. I you drink to that. Your child. <laughs> of course. Absolutely. Uh, that makes perfect sense. All right. I drink to that. Let's drink to that. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Here we go. Okay. just wants any reason to drink. I know. Yeah, of course. I know. Yeah. Okay, up next, Oscar winning actress and singer Jennifer Hudson got a shoe oh my gosh. thrown at her by a fan during a That's Boston crazy. concert last week as she was singing And I Am Telling You. Woo! Oh, I love yes, that. Yes, and I love it when she sings that. Oof. But don't worry, it's actually a compliment. Yeah, everybody was like, huh? Yes, right? Okay, Hudson started the trend after throwing her shoe at a contestant on The Voice during a blind audition. <laughs> Hudson has said, quote, if you move me enough that I remove my shoe mm. to throw it at you, mm. you have done something amazing. Ah. It's equivalent to a standing ovation. All right. All right. So, ladies. Have you ever had a shoe or anything else? Keisha, you hey, say thrown at you yeah. before? Yes, my mother has definitely thrown a chancleta at me once or twice in her life. 100%. I had a phone thrown at me. Yeah, like ripped off the floor. But why are you singing, you. though? Oh. Not while I'm singing. Well, probably while I was singing in my house, yes. I've made a lot of She's like, we're going to get evicted, Adrian. You're singing at the top of your lungs. Nobody wants to hear that. But. In concert? Who? That is That true. is weird. No, I've seen concerts where people throw water bottles and stuff. Do they do that? That's not a compliment. Th like, oh, that, right, that's right, right. Kind of no, take but you, you know what I'm talking about. People throw, are crazy. Yeah. People, sometimes people throw bras. People throw fancy. I throw some panties at Maxwell. I tell you that much. Yeah. Has anybody ever thrown anything crazy at you during a concert? No, 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 no. I mean, you know what, though? If we, in retrospect to, the voice. Yes. Uh huh. Okay, now yeah. that's just another level of like, what are you doing on stage right now? I'm gonna throw something at you, girl. <laughs> yes. But I, that's dangerous. Yeah, she I know. She could have injured somebody. How'd you get hit in yeah. your moneymaker. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's a problem. And if it's yeah. a high heel, that'll oh, hit yeah. you in that's your a eye problem. or something. That's that's a problem. In comedy, yeah, we don't up. throw stuff. I mean, they used to, be, like, back in the day, if they didn't like you, they throw tomatoes and onions. And stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. You know, so that I was considered that like an insult. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you guys have been to Italy before, yeah. right? Okay, so my sister and I, we went to school, we did summer school in Italy for two and a half months, mm -hmm. and we heard that Italians really love black women. And I heard that they, they love do, like, girl. They, they do. Blonde, right? I heard my husband is over there too. I, I mean, not, maybe. I, I, I mean, never once know. I get over this the one, one you know. Know. <laughs> but my sister and I, the first night we were walking the streets, and they would throw coins at us. And Ouch. they would say, they literally would not throw coins. dollars? No, honey. Coins. But dollar sometimes a coin, coin. Sometimes a coin would, you know, be worth like a, 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 dollar. a dollar. Oh, yes. oh and like, that's did a it hit you. It did hit me, but they Does would it say, hurt? it didn't, it didn't, because they were so charming with it. They were like, Bella, Bella, oh, which wow. me 
reads wow. beautiful in Italian. So you find wow. yourself like, oh my gosh, this hit me with a coin again. <laughs> <laughs> So, Keisha, you keep super busy. You're talking about all yes. these different things that are going on in your life, and I know you've been working on some new music. When you sing, people feel it. Yeah. 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 Why do you think that is? I think because one of the things, you always come from such an honest place. Yeah, well, it definitely reflects my life, you know, um, and I try to keep it as real as I possibly can. Mm -hmm. There's been a few albums that I didn't, you know, it didn't reflect my life, but this one is like... So personal. This one is like everything that I have. This is the longest I've taken to record an album mm. since the first album I released. Um, and I was gonna go independent, but then I, I own my masters and I'm signed at Epic Records. Awesome. Record. Smart awesome. business woman as well. Okay. What's the name of the album? Eleven Eleven Reset. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! You know What's she loves. What's the significance of Eleven Eleven for you? Um, angel numbers. I was actually just found out that I was born at Eleven Eleven. Oh. I okay. got married on 11-11, and the crazy oh thing God. is, when they went to check the timestamp, because the show was filming it, they looked, and me, we exchanged our vowels at exactly 11-11. No. Wow. Uh, New York wow. time or L.A. time. I swear. Wow. Oh, 11, 11 in the morning. I that's love it. Yep. crazy. Oh, my God, so many things going on. Well, another thing that's going on that's a big deal is Halloween, you guys. It's, it's only a few oh, weeks yeah, yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, can yeah, you yeah, believe yeah. this? Love Halloween. Now, there's too. a huge debate that's been raging on social media. I can't even believe this is happening, and it's got the whole country divided about candy corn. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. crazy. Yes, I can't believe this, but think about it. Because this some is people, so awesome. Right? Girl, sip up. Some people <laughs> find the classic Halloween so. candy awesome, while others find it gross. Like, for example, at Baby Boy Shorts tweeted, I swear to God, I'm not doing the candy corn debate this year. If you eat that wax garbage, walk the plank oh out my of my mentions. God. I don't have the patience. That Ugh. is, like, extreme. Oh, dang, that's... He felt he's really got a sugar high about right that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, at the letter zero tweeted, though, I don't understand people who don't like candy corn. Uh. Where are all y'all who... Where... Were Girl, all y'all not... not loved as children? <laughs> <laughs> I was it's loved Friday, as a kid so much, that's why I don't like candy corn. Okay, so you're saying, I want to know, do you guys like you. candy corn or not? No, no I'm not, not a fan of candy like corn. It. I wasn't really sweet. allowed to eat a lot of sweets and sugar. I was a hyperactive candy. child. Yeah. But, so you wouldn't eat it? I was it? such a hyperactive child that at like four years old, I would go to other people's houses and they would give me soda and I would say, I can't have that, I get hyper. Like at four, I would tell people, my mom would have me tell people, I, bet she I can't real have annoying soda. To all the other kids. <laughs> yeah. Girl, shut up. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I get hyper, I can't have candy. So even well, now, we... my sister puts ra gives kids boxes of raisins. Ew. Oh, Claude, well, see, we you. weren't well, <laughs> allowed. We weren't yeah, allowed to that have. Doorbell. We weren't allowed to have candy a lot. Yeah. Right. So when well, we didn't celebrate Halloween. It was uh, Hall Hallelujah night. night. Yeah, me too. Oh. Fashion company Balenciaga, during a recent runway show, may have answered the internal question. Can Crocs ever be cool? <laughs> um, that's right, the company generated huge buzz after they debuted new platform Crocs named Foam. Yo. Foam. Oh, as guard the eyes. Foam. Man. As part of their oh. spring 2018 collection at a Paris Fashion <laughs> Week show. The shoes will be sold in a variety of colors, including pink okay. and yellow. Love However, that. it's unclear at the moment, how much the shoes will cost. That's, That's a lot of plastic. Yeah, that is, yeah. that is. So, ladies, would you ever rock these Crocs? Absolutely not. <laughs> Those, they're so ugly. Oh my God. No, they're so ugly. We also have to remember, Balenciaga, what's going on? They made these shoes and they also made the Ikea bag. See, the, that's true. Wait, they they have the yeah. I'm getting concerned. That's the type of show, shoe you could absolutely throw I mean, on stage at someone, right? I have a $7,000 right? shoe from Balenciaga. Yes. $7,000? Okay. Yeah. What it look yeah. like? Oh, wow. I haven't worn them. Oh. No. Okay. But they have mirrors <laughs> on the bottom of them. Okay. You know, like, oh, I know which ones you're... Oh, wait, those burgundy. are sick, though. Those They're are burgundy. sick. Yes. They have, like, mirrors at the bottom yes. of them. Yes. Yeah, but They're would you wear items. these crops? Why, wait a minute. Why haven't you worn them $7,000 shoes? Because they're $7,000, girl. You just gonna put them in a... Museum? What? Yeah. Maybe a photo shoot. Absolutely. See? A photo shoot. A photo exactly. shoot, I a video. I haven't one yet that they fit, though. Okay, oh, you guys, I have okay. news. What? You'll wear the Crocs. Oh, no, I, no, I would not. Okay. <laughs> Ever. Don't talk to me like that, Keisha. <laughs> but my mom bought these shoes. <gasps> Mama Mai bought these ugly 
dang shoes, and I refuse to let her walk around in Los Angeles with me, so she yeah. doesn't pack them. She leaves them in Houston, and the streets of Houston, you gotta look out. Uh, Those shoes are wandering. No, Wait, but that's don't so they ugly. just look she like... She means the regular ones, though, no, right? No, she but bought the Balenciaga But don't they look like they'd break your ankle or something? They're no. so... Tall. They're actually they're just ugly. They're, they're they look really comfortable to me. I like them. One thing I will say though, anybody who's owned Crocs, come on now, they are really comfortable. comfortable. Yeah, they okay. really no, are. They're not. Though. But no, they're not. Those are still really. Ugly. That's another form of birth control. No. 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 no that is true. No, no. I've heard people say that about. What do you um, mean? Ugg boots. You wear those shoes? Yeah. Ain't no man coming within 20,000 yeah. feet of yeah. you. Nah, Crocs ain't, that's not it. Yeah, don't wear Crocs, focus people, wear the if wrong you want a man. Focus here. The focus is to be comfortable. The Croc shoes are made to be comfortable. Walk through the airport. Well, I no. don't think that you they should have put... You wear Crocs? I mean, yeah, I would <gasps> wear... Mama Mai, oh, do not listen to Keisha Cole, though. <laughs> okay, Mama 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 Mama. 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 You know, I consider myself to be an in the know. You know, I'm a hard worker, and I just believe in doing whatever I can for this show. Yes. So when my producing team told me to get on a plane and fly to New York to interview Hani Abu Assad, the director of the new film, The Mountain Between Us, starring my boo, Idris Elba, I was more than happy to take <laughs> yes, that flight, are. okay? And do my job, right? <laughs> So I had did all the research, I prepared questions, but I was not ready for what happened when that door opened and the man I was interviewing walked in. Take a look at this. What? Okay, okay, okay. Oh okay, Lonnie. It, it, it is time. Come on. I gotta look. You show me so much love, oh. you know that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's up? Are you just here to say hi? Or are you gonna... oh, I'm here to give you. Oh, my God! Oh, my okay, God. Gonna, I think I want to interview you. Is this oh the hot seat? Oh gonna... OK, you sit down, Tony. Oh Come on, let's do this. I'm ready to go. You got me. <laughs> Oh, my God, thank you so much. Oh, my God, thank you. Please have a seat. I know you're very busy. Oh, my God, thank you so much. Oh, baby, don't cry. Oh, my God. Don't cry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm fine. I know you're just looking at two and all that. All right, all right. Do you want me to do it? I'll do it for you, baby. Come on, let me just speak to you right here. That's it, my right there, darling. There you go. There you go. Erica, this is a total surprise, America. <clears throat> hey. <laughs> okay, everybody, I just saw the fabulous movie that Idris Elba's in. It's called The Mountain Between Us. Now, can you just... Just give me a little bit without giving it away what the movie is about. Uh, okay, so it, it really is about two people that um, they charter a plane together and they're going to Denver, Colorado. Well, actually, they, they're both going separate plane areas. They get stuck in an airport mm -hmm. and they charter a plane to Denver, Colorado because they can get another connecting flight from there. And basically what happens is the plane goes down. And it was so cold. Yeah. It was How my, did you my... keep your yams warm? My... <laughs> <laughs> they froze. It's they cool. <laughs> you know, but when you freeze something, it keeps good for a while, so. But you guys did a fabulous job because this was, <clears throat> it was suspenseful. It was romantic. Mm. It was very inspiring. And is that what you want to do when you do movies? Yeah, I mean, I think, you listen, the, the, the most um, incredible. You are so sexy. I just want to uh... Okay, tell me about being a dad. Like, mm. right now, you know, your daughter, she's, she can see what's going on, especially on social media and things like that. Mm. What's, number one, what's your favorite part about being a dad and how do you handle your stardom with her being the age that she is? Uh, that's a good question. I mean, uh, my favorite part and it always has been about being a dad is when you see uh, parts of you sort of materializing your daughter and my son, you know, without even, you know, my daughter's, Stubborn, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm stubborn. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, my daughter's funny. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I, I try to be funny, but it's just, it's just a, it's lovely seeing my kids grow and, you know, they grow into their own personalities, but I can see the influences, mm -hmm. you know, I can see the influences. My son's three, you know, and, and he picks up weird things. Like, I go, mm-hmm, all the time, and that's how he answers people, mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. And the other day, like, I do this all the time, and he does that. <laughs> he said to he said to his nanny, his nanny said, uh, do you want to drink, Winston? He said, yeah, what kind? He said, uh, it's a raspberry or something. And then as she was walking here, he went, <laughs> it was so funny. It came out of nowhere and he just went back to watch TV. They're like TV. sponges yeah, at that age. Yeah. He's three, right? Yeah, he's three. So, but, but as far as, you know, being in the public eye, you know, my daughter's pretty savvy on, you know, social media. I think she's smart enough to know what's real and what's... What's real now. Excuse mm -hmm. my language. But, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, you know, and then... I encourage a dialogue about it. Mm -hmm. You know, I really do encourage a dialogue about it. But, I, you know, it is what it is. Mm. Your daughter's here, so I'm going to be respectful. <laughs> but I need more sex scenes. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is, this is a bit Get awkward. off the road, baby. Get <laughs> off the road. This no. is getting awkward. <laughs> I break out in sweat, really. I told you I get embarrassed. I'm like... <laughs> How do you handle being a sex symbol? Uh, uh, see, that's a weird question for me, man. It's like, you know... Uh, it's nice to be told it's a compliment, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, you know, if I'm really honest, I'll just say it one time, you know, for, for black actors, and I hate that phrase, but for black actors, you know, the term sex symbol is rare. It's, you know, it's few and far between, you know. You, black men are sexualized, but to call them a sex symbol is a different thing. Um, it's usually tough or, you know, he's, you know, he ain't nothing to be messed with, you know, and that sort of thing. But, so I, I think it's a compliment, and it, and, it, and it hasn't done me any harm. You know what I'm saying? Because there's one scene you guys have to see. This one scene, that in the shower. The, uh, oh, I wanted to get in there with him. Really? Okay, let me just step in there. Let me rub his back. You have to see the movie. It's a shower scene with him. Yeah. I'm sweating, Lonnie. Okay. <laughs> I'm over here sweating right now. The camera just pan off right now, please. Like, I can just talk all day to you, okay? Everybody wants to know about Idris Love Life. I don't care, because mm. I'm going to love you when you marry <laughs> single. But for some reason, everybody wants you to be married. And I'm like, I don't want to be married. So I understand where you're coming from. But what is the, what is the deal with that? I don't know. I mean, I think it's partly attached to, you know, the you know, heartthrob, sex symbol stuff, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, again, like I said, you know, I've been private. You know, people know about my life story. There's no lie about that. But mm -hmm. I'm private when it comes to certain things. And I think people just want to. You know, if I'm really honest, I hate the trash talking and sort of media celebrities that make up stuff, you know, take bits and pieces of gossip sites and make it a story. It can be soul destroying. I could be in a good mood doing this and then realize that I was on camera over here and didn't know it. Mm -hmm. I hate that. Oh, I'm sitting here like this. Oh, you guys, it's so good. It's it's so good. It's so it's good. good. It has taken four seasons and it just finally came out. Everything. I have so many questions. I want to know what he smelled like, uh, and how his health was. But most of all, do you do you know? Okay, did you know anything? Like, what was no. she thinking? She cried again watching herself yeah, cry. I, I, mean, I couldn't believe it. We happened. all cried. I couldn't believe it happened. So I was totally surprised. I just want to thank his manager, Aronde, Aronde, Angie, Angie Martinez. Martinez. They did it. So, yeah. we, but we got some more. Okay. Oh, oh, my. I want to play a game. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the game? I'm no good at games. Oh, okay, I'm sure. This is, it was, ladies and gentlemen, okay. this is called Idris True or Idris A Lie. Your DJ name is DJ Big Driz. It used to be, so that's not a lie. What happened? Yeah, no, I'm just Idris Elba. I'm too grown for Big Driz. <laughs> <laughs> Idris True is Idris Lie. You shorten your first name from Idrissa to Idris? True. Good, okay. Your first acting role was in Crime Watch, doing murder reenactments. True. Oh, my God. You co-produced and performed on the intro to Jay-Z's... Oh, I know this one, American... Oh, but you got to answer it. Okay. No, you, you got to say it right. Me and Jay-Z did a record. Yes! Yes! You know, the other ones. Look at you. You have a pet pig that you bring with you on set. No. Crispy bacon or chewy bacon? No bacon. None? Don't eat the swine. You don't? Mm -mm. Uh-oh. 
No. You like bacon? <laughs> oh. oh. Smash. Oh my God. No way. But I heard you say crispy bacon one time. Wait, 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 wait. Turkey bacon is good. Beef bacon, even better. I don't want no turkey bacon. Really? <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Mm. Alcohol, brown liquor, or white liquor? <sighs> Depends. When I'm on holiday, mm -hmm. I like brown liquor. Yes! Yeah! Really nice. Rum. But when I'm, you know, just having a sip, like, as soon as I leave here. <laughs> See, you know what? I'm causing you to drink. <laughs> you recently tweeted that you hurt your knee. What happened? Uh, yeah, I tore, I, I tore my ACL, which is a beautiful oh. muscle, but it's very painful when it gets um, torn. Now, in the movie, did you do your own stunts? Please say you didn't. Yeah, I did, yeah. You Some did. of them. You know, the one where I'm falling You're down. You're hanging, the... yes. I did that, yeah. Oh my, you have to see this, because he was like, it's, it's intense. Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying. This movie was intense. It had moments where you, you, you like sitting back, you're like, oh, ooh, you know? <laughs> And you know what? They know how to shoot your eyes, right? Oh, yeah? You have the best eyes for camera, so. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you last much. question, Idris. Last question. I appreciate yeah. this. Um, how do you want people to remember you? Um, okay, um, I would say that I want people to remember me as a hardworking, cool guy, you know? Um, I, you know, I, I love what I do for a living. And I have, I mean, from zero fans to worldwide fans, you know what I mean? But I want people, when they meet me, to say, yo, kind of liked him. He was all right. You know, that's what I really want more than anything. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate the great. time. And if you could say hi to Jeannie, Adrian, and Tamara. Right, so which one of those girls talk a lot of doo-doo about me? Jeannie, <laughs> uh, uh, who is it? Jeannie, uh, Tamara. I hear you. I don't think he's all that. <laughs> and Adrian. Uh, Adrian, yeah, I get you. Uh, it's cool, I'm coming to LA. Uh, <laughs> He's coming, you see Heffers? He's coming, I got him. Thank you so much. Thanks, babe. Thank you. Thank well, you, guys. Thank this you. is the best surprise.